Sudden changes in track geometry introduce a risk of derailment. This is for a number of reasons, but a common one is the loading and unloading of the suspension of the trains, particularly freight trains. As well as ensuring that the track is in a good state of repair, it's also important to put limits on how quickly designers can change the geometry. A key one, and the subject of this video, is changing cant. Cant is required to allow trains to traverse curves at speed, with the amount being required a function of speed and the curve radius. For more on this, check out the video in the top right hand corner or in the description. But flat track requires no cant, so cant must be increased or added to the track in a way that does not introduce risk or discomfort. The increase or decrease in cant is limited by the values stated in the standard. There are two ways the change in cant can be defined and then limited. First is by distance and second is by time. Changing cant by time is more of a measurement for passenger comfort and is known as the rate of change of cant. This is worked out using train speed and I discuss it at length in my video on transition design. Check it out at the top right hand corner or in the description below. For this video we're going to focus on distance as it's more related to safety. This is known as cant gradient. As we've already said, cant gradient is related to distance. It is the increase or decrease of cant per unit of distance along the track. So let's say we increase the cant by one millimeter over a thousand millimeters or meter. This would give a cant gradient of one in 1000. In the UK, cant gradient design limits are determined by brackets of speed. There is also the normal limit where designers should aim for the maximum limit, which can be used if required, and the exceptional limit that needs special dispensation to utilise. Cam gradients need to be checked alongside other design variables, such as rate of change, when designing, so don't forget about them. One area that shows the risk associated with sharp cam gradients are twist faults. A twist fault is created when, due to issues with the track, one rail drops suddenly, creating an increase in cam. Twist is measured over three metres, this sudden dip and therefore increase in cant is a serious derailment risk. Depending on the level of severity, it can lead to the line being immediately blocked. Twists are quantified in gradients over 3 metres, which is about 5 sleepers. So for example, 15 millimetres of twist is a 1 in 200 twist, which in the UK carries a 14 day rectification period. For a more in-depth look into twist faults, check out the video in the link showing now. So now you know about cant gradient the sometimes forgotten track geometry design variable. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you want to know more about railway engineering, a great place to start is with our Track Components Guide ebook that is available at the link in the description. If you want a little added extra, by signing up to our email list at the link below, you'll get our free Guide to Cant ebook straight into your email inbox. Drop any comments or queries below, hit that like button, and subscribe so you don't miss a single video. Thank you.